Aquarius, this is your week ahead astrology forecast from Astrology Motivation by Born Without Boundaries. <clears throat> Welcome Aquarius, this is a video of the major planetary aspects and transits and how they impact your natal sun. Now, I don't necessarily know where your natal sun is. I'm relying on you to know that. Um, and I will give you estimates of like the, the dates that it correlates to. But if you have your natal chart, definitely grab it. If you want to get one, it's free. Just like search it online and free natal chart and it'll come right up. All you need is your birth date, your birth time, and your birth place. All of this is located on your birth certificate. Or you got to call your mama. Uh, either way, you just punch in that information and it'll spit it out in a couple of seconds and you'll know the exact degree on which your natal sun falls in the sign of Aquarius. If it falls between zero and nine degrees, you are in the first decan or group of 10 degrees of Aquarius and you are Aquarius one. If it falls between 10 and 19 degrees, you are Aquarius two. And if it falls between 20 and 29 degrees Aquarius, you are Aquarius threes. The correlating dates are really estimates, but basically um, if you are a January Aquarian, you are Decan one. <clears throat> if you're born say in the first week and a half of February, you are a uh, Aquarius two. And then if you are born in the last say week, week and a half of February, um, right, right before the Pisces cusp um, and including Pisces cuspers, but not Pisces, Aquarius, um, you are Aquarius three. So that's rough estimates because the dates actually change year to year. Um, so if you want the exacts, please go check out your natal chart. Um, all right. Let's start really broad. So there's a lot going on this week, yeah. So first we have um, <clears throat> the new moon. Why is that such a big deal, Michelle? There's a new moon like every month. <laughs> yeah, but there's two new moons. There was two new moons, not this month, but this season. So before the sun left Aries, it conjuncted the moon, or the moon conjuncted it twice. And that does not happen all the time. It only happens once every three years or so. And that's called a double moon. And so the second new moon is called the double moon. And this double moon in Aries is also a solar eclipse because we're entering into eclipse season. Solar eclipse will be visible from like India, Australia, parts of India, Australia. Um, Definitely not us, like in the United States, it'll be too dark out to see anything, but we'll still be impacted by the energy. If you can like get some good shots, put on that protective eye gear and like email them to me because I, I think it's just gonna be a lovely, it's gonna be lovely. It's not gonna be, it's gonna be total eclipse for a while, but most of you will get like an annular eclipse where there's that, that ring with that black circle in the middle. It's really, it's really beautiful. Anyway, um, so we have the solar eclipse and all of this is going on square to Pluto and conjunct to Jupiter. Can you say kaboom? We're like, we're like this, that's the energy, what was I saying? It's the energy of a prison break. It's the energy of relentless, of I'm not accepting no for an answer. I said, I'm getting this new start. It's that kind of energy. This is all happening in Aries too. I mean, it is extraordinary energy. So it is not normal, it's not, it's not common. And it's <clears throat> a huge catapult rocket ship forward, definitely manifest on this new moon. I, I, I gave some, I did a video a couple of months ago, no, on the, on the last Aries new moon, I made a video of how to manifest when the moon is in a fire sign. So go check out that video over on Born Without Boundaries Tarot because it's gonna be really useful to help magnify your manifestation techniques. Um, Another big thing that's happening an hour after the new moon is the sun is transiting into Taurus. So we actually begin Taurus season, yay! Um, this is actually great because the sun is very stabilized, very stable in Taurus. It's, it's steadfast, it's traditional, it cares about family and luxury, looking good and feeling good. Everything is on the up and up and direct and right in front of you. Like that's what it is, it's practical. This is just, easy energy to navigate and then the next big thing is mercury retrograde yes um and i'm sure that you guys have been feeling mercury retrograde <laughs> like for a while like i have been feeling it for the past week and a half 
Um, I could barely speak last week. It was crazy. Mercury retrograde. Um, yeah, we have like like two or three Mercury retrogrades a year. What makes this one so special? It's conjunct to Uranus, and Uranus is the higher expression of Mercury. It's that intellect. It's the high intellect. It's the genius intellect. It's the stuff that exists outside the box, but figuring out how it makes sense down here. This is extraordinary intelligence and communication, and this is where we get like the tech world from, right? But Mercury is con Mercury when it goes retrograde is conjunct Uranus in Taurus. Can you say kaboom when it comes to technology? It's a lot. It's a lot, and there are certain ones of you, Aquarius, that it will definitely be impacting this week way more than others. But that Mercury retrograde uh, conjunction with Uranus lasts all week long. So expect, ex just expect the unexpected, and expect it to be a shit show. I'm just, gonna, I'm just, I'm putting it out there for you. Um, let's go into the things that you guys should really be focusing on. So you actually have two ruling dignitaries. You have one modern ruling dignitary, that is Uranus. And everywhere that Uranus is, you should be paying attention to what is happening with it because it'll sort of color all aspects of your life. But you also have a traditional ruler, and that traditional ruler is Saturn. And that's because before Uranus was discovered, Saturn ruled both Capricorn and Aquarius. And believe me, it still impacts your character, your, your stability, <clears throat> who you are. So, always know where Saturn is. Now, <clears throat> Saturn made its big transit into Pisces from Aquarius a couple of, what was it, like a month ago, a month and a half ago now? Um, so it is still sextile to the north node, trying to the south node, but this week it'll be conjunct, it'll be sextile to the sun. That's right, because the sun is gonna be conjunct the north node. What does that mean? Opportunity, man. Saturn sextile the sun is fantastic energy. It is progressive energy. It is progress in a nutshell. It is getting things done, charisma, people believing you because you have an authority about yourself. They trust you. They stay to rely on you. You can put things all into the <clears throat> all into the right order. This is a nice energy. It's it's really helpful. Uranus all week long, on the other hand, is conjunct Mercury retrograde in Taurus. And this means that especially like the Ethernet, you know, the big old Zoom calls, there could be a big old kaboom and collapse with all of that stuff. I'm just waiting to see how it plays out. Mercury and Uranus are already conjunct. It's not officially in retrograde until the 21st though. Though I do, I do feel like something is already in the air. Definitely when it comes to specific Aquariuses, it's going to impact you worse. You are, I'm telling you, you guys that are know it, are, you're already feeling it. I didn't say this. This is for the week of April 19th to the 25th of 2023. I did put that in the thumbnail and I do have that in the title. But I just wanted to reiterate, this seven day period is the 19th to the 25th of April 2023. Let's dive in, Aquarius, to <clears throat> how this is impacting your natal suns. So if you are Aquarius 1, if you are, your sun is somewhere in the first decan of Aquarius, Pluto is conjunct to your sun, your natal sun, which means your natal suns are also squared to the north node and the south node. This means big life changes. This is, this is for the next couple of years, you guys are going to be turning a corner in your life and you'll be changing. You'll find that you don't crave what you used to crave. You, you find that you don't have the same interests, or that you don't. You, you're not. You don't have the same comfort zones as you used to. Your comfort zones are changing because you're getting a lot more comfortable with that North Node energy. You'll start to feel this turning the corner kind of energy. Um, but this week. In particular, your natal suns are square to the current sun in Taurus all week long um, when it drops into Taurus. But even before then, when it's conjunct and making that new moon, um, your natal suns are going to be square to the solar eclipse. Can you say kaboom, huge change? This is especially true for you. It is volumized. They're just, there's, a, there's a level of aggression to this energy when it's square to your natal suns. So just be aware of it, especially when your natal suns are conjunct to Pluto. That's square to all of this. This is insane change and maybe use this energy to kick 
off something. It is in Aries. Take the initiative and kick it off so that you can actually take charge of this energy instead of letting it rule you over. It's important. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's how. Oh, oh, you know what? Your NATO suns are also. This is long term. The conjunction to Pluto is long term too. But this is another long term conjunction. I'm sorry, not conjunction. Uh, aspect. Your NATO suns are sextile to Neptune. Uh, what does that mean? Creativity. The sun sextile Neptune. This is this is for the next couple of years, guys. This is just beautiful, harmonious, poetic, like just creating stuff that never existed before. And it's coming out in you guys. Maybe it's helping you form different communities or being able to see the opportunities when it comes to organizing people or taking care of people. Whatever it is, the ideas are coming somewhere out of an Aquarius, especially an Aquarius one because Pluto's sitting right on top of your natal suns. FYI. Um, but this week it's primarily that square with the sun. And when your natal sun is square with the sun, conjunct Pluto square with the sun, there are extreme changes to who you are. Questioning who you are, wanting to change right now, um, wanting to be seen differently. Also, darkness being brought to light. So a lot of crap could be coming up that's going to challenge you that you have to deal with especially stuff that you have intentionally repressed and tried to not think of yeah that's going to be very challenging for you guys this week it'll only be for the week but it's it's super challenging Aquarius twos so um wow <sighs> it's you guys that have your natal sun square to the mercury uranus conjunction Expect that this week is going to be a shit show for you when it comes to your technology, when it comes to communications, your car, when it comes to email, all of these things. I, it's just going to be particularly a bumpy ride for you. I'm just warning you ahead of time, especially when it comes to your work or maybe even your finances. I know we're all doing taxes around this time. It could be a little bit cray. Um, your natal suns, however, are trying to Venus. So that's actually positive. That's kind of helpful when it comes to finances or finding value, harmonizing value, right? Especially value in your romantic relationship. So this is a great time for closeness with your partner, for doing your hair differently, for restyling your home. Like anything about aesthetics or changing aesthetics or expressing yourself in aesthetically this is going to get rave reviews this week it's just a great time to do the nails do the hair any kind of permanent changes this is when you would schedule the lip injections or whatever you do to yourself i don't know um but this would be it when it's trine or sextile to venus is always a good time um i'm not saying it's a good time for your pocketbook but it's a good time like the procedure will come out well or your hair will come out well or the color that you repaint your house will last and you'll be crazy about it it's it's that kind of energy and also harmonious if you're in a romantic relationship also a really good time to date because you'll be very it's like you'll be very aware of really what works for you and what you're into and you'll be attracting that too um <sighs> your natal suns this week are in a quincunx to mars quincunx is a frustrating energy um, Mars is in Cancer. It's uber sensitive in Cancer. Um, sensitivity with regards to your family or actions you want to take for your family or towards your family or just different situations that are frustrating you because maybe you can't get things done fast enough for your family, especially with all those communication issues. These are the things that are going to really just trouble you this week, but don't worry. Um, by next week, Unfortunately, the trine with Venus will be gone. Mars, I believe the quincunx will be over. Um, the square to Mercury retrograde will be over, mm, no, by the end of the week after. Like, but not by the end of this week, by the end of next week. Um, you'll still be square to Uranus, but Mercury will have gone back into the first decan of Aquarius. FYI. Um, so for the next two weeks, just brace yourself. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, three, three, three. Aquarius three. Your natal suns, if you are on the cusp of Pisces, you're only the cusp, like the last two days of, of Aquarius tops. Uh, that's usually, where is it? Is it February? It's When does Pisces start? February 19th, February 20th, something like that. 
it's you guys your natal suns are conjunct to Saturn what does that mean it means uh, self being self-possessed being mature being ready to make commitments it also could be being too hard on yourself and taking yourself too seriously but whatever you do you're gonna put your whole self in and take it very seriously and as long as you can modulate that you can use this energy to help yourself make progress um, that's a long-term that's a long-term conjunction by the way um, it yeah yeah absolutely um, this week it's the Jupiter and the Sun aspects that are really impacting you. And this is good stuff. You ready? So your natal suns are sextile to Jupiter, which is in Aries, and the Sun, which is just leaving Aries and in the very first degrees of Taurus throughout this week. So if you are if you are cuspers, like you are Pisces cuspers, your the sun will be sextile to your natal sun all week long uh the rest of you you sort of feel it in the beginning of the week more but you're all going to get a sextile to jupiter so what does this mean this is a lucky week for you it's a fortunate week jupiter sextile the sun is probably the fucking luckiest and most fortunate <laughs> or jupiter sextile venus is the most optimistic and and like like rose colored glasses but jupiter conjunct the sun i mean not conjunct jupiter sextile the sun you have confidence it's going to open doors for you people are going to open doors for you so that it's easier for you to walk through the doors that are opening for you. like this is a lucky freaking week for you enjoy it embrace it love it now you know how sagittarius feels almost every day of their life i'm just letting you know even the stupidest shit can turn out to be working for you when jupiter is sextile your sun so enjoy it because it only lasts about a week week a couple week maybe a couple more days week week and a half maybe so enjoy it because it will pass more quickly than you'd like it to i'm just saying um now jupiter is in aries so a lot of this luck can be coming from how you motivate yourself or your physical self your physical body or taking initiative with things just an fyi magnify that luck magnify that abundance right aquarius i love you guys and i hope this helped you please feel free to leave comments below i would love to know how the energy is impacting you guys but also like this video and subscribe to the channel and then come on over to born without boundaries tarot and enjoy your week ahead tarot card reading i love you guys and i'll see you next week bye aquarius